we're going to talk about starting a wig business, but you don't know how to make wigs. Is that possible? Can you do it? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl T. If you are new here, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on your notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video. And in this video, we're going to talk about starting a wig business, but you don't know how to make wigs. Is that possible? Can you do it? Yes, sis, you can do that, okay? So, before, if you've been thinking about it and you're here, you're already in the right spot. But um, before you can actually do it successfully run your wig business there's a few things that you need to know so first you need to know about wigs and you need to be able to um test out some wigs and wear wigs so if you don't wear wigs sis i don't know if it's gonna be it's gonna work for you because you gotta be the product of your product you gotta wear it first before you can even sell it because ain't nobody gonna buy it from you if you are not wearing it okay um and you need to know about wigs you need to know about caps, different caps. You need to know about the lace on the wigs. You need to know uh, the comfort, the hair quality. All of that is important. And if you don't know any of that, you're not going to be able to sell a wig, period. So make sure that you're knowledgeable and that's the business that you want to start. Because the last thing you want to do is invest in a business and put your money into it. And then you realize, dang, this is really not what I want to do. Then you don't waste your money and your time. So make sure it's what you want to do. Make sure you know about it. Make sure you uh, at least wear them, test them out, you know, be a product of your product, walk around and advertise it, you know, I guess so. Um, once you know about it, then there are three options. There are three different options that you could do in order to successfully run your wig business. The first option that I'm going to talk about is pre-made wigs. You can sell wigs that are already made that can come from your vendor. Of course, if you already still have, then it works out good because you, if your vendor that you use your hair for, if they make wigs, then you might as well just see use them. I mean, if they damn, did I say it right? I said it wrong. Anyways, if you um, if your vendors that sell hair to you, if they make wigs, then you can just have them make the wigs for you, and you can test those out. So order a wig, wear it, dye it, you know. Test it and make sure it's of quality is what you like. Of course, the hair should be of quality if you're already selling the hair. So, boom, you should be able to start pretty easy by just pre-made wigs. Now, pre-made wigs is a good option because you don't have to do the construction. You don't have to do the work on it. You don't have to do nothing. The only thing about pre-made wigs is you kind of got to watch the sizing because not every vendor sizing is the same. Their small may not be your small. So, you kind of want to watch that. Um, when it comes to ordering pre-made, yes, it's less work on you. But then if you do order pre-made, okay, do you want to style the wig? I'm so sorry about my son in the back, y'all. Do you want to style the wig or do you want the wig to just come unstyled as is? If you do decide that you want to style the wig, make sure that you uh, are charging to style the wig. Where it's customized bleaching, that's the products that cost. So make sure that you charge for that service along with the wig. So on top of the wig. Um... That's good things. Oh, you also want to make sure that you check the uh, density of the wig. You know, the less the density is, the thinner it's going to be. It's not like a custom wig. A custom wig, you can fit three bundles. But if it's a pre-made wig, since they ain't putting out three bundles, they just going to, you know, it's going to make it look natural as is because they're going to save themselves some money as well. Also, you want to check the lace. The lace on the wig is important. See if they use transparent lace, medium brown lace, HD lace. See if they offer all those types of lace or the type of lace that you want. Because you would hate to start selling wigs and they have all medium brown, brown lace. And then you got some light clients and mm, that ain't going to work. Okay? So, the next option would be um, having a wig maker make the wigs. Now, this option is something new. Not a lot of people know about it. A lot of wig makers are starting to post about it. It's something that I offer as well. It's when you allow other wig makers or another wig maker to make the wigs for you. Perfect, right? Yes. Now, it's called a ghost wig maker. So, if you have a ghost wig maker, maker, then make sure that you have a contract in place. It can be anything that you two agree upon to make your wig for you, okay? They can, um, if you want them to style and bleach them, they can do that. If you want 
combs in them, if you want your label in them, however you want the wig to look, you can send your custom measurements from your clients to the wig, to that ghost maker, wig maker, and they can make the wig for you and boom, you ain't got to do it, but you can run a successful business and you'll be selling it as your own. Nobody has to know that they're making a wig for you. You can make a wig. I mean, you can um advertise it as your wigs. Now offering custom wigs. This, guess what? They would never know that the wig is was not made by you, okay? When you're doing that, you want to make sure that you uh, discuss the turnaround time because you don't want it to be too long now. You don't want that wig maker to get your hair. Uh-oh. Okay, you don't want that wig maker to get your hair um, and or get their hair. get Send the hair to you. I mean, you send the hair to them. Shit, I'm sorry. Send the hair to uh, the wig maker and then they take 30 days to send it back. Then your customer going to be mad at you. So you need to make sure that you know the turnaround time. Make sure that it's completely confidential. They cannot advertise that they work for you. None of that. Okay? So that is one other option. The third option. I'm looking down at my notes, y'all. Sorry. The third option is simple. Learn how to make them yourself. It may take some time to do, but it's definitely uh, something that will save you some money in the long run. But if you do decide that you want to learn to make the wigs, make sure that you start looking on YouTube first. Use all the free resources. There is so much free information out there. Use that free information. Take notes. Tweak it. Definitely practice, practice, practice. Okay? Get the concepts down. There's lots of videos out there. I believe that that's one of the ways that I started. Um... Once you do learn and get a little bit of the basis of the technique, then I would recommend investing into a one-on-one -on -one locally. If you can find a wig maker in the area that makes the wig, make sure you uh, try and get in contact with them and set up one-on-one -on -one so you can learn things that you may not get from YouTube because you're not going to get everything for free. Everything don't come free, okay? You'll get enough information to get you there. You could, you know, score from there. Some people are visual learners and they go from there, but not everybody will get everything. So if you can't get a one-on-one -on -one course, there are so many uh, wig makers that offer online courses. So maybe you can sit at the comfort of your home and learn how to make a wig from home and practice. Most importantly, practice, practice, practice. Just keep practicing. The more you practice, the better you'll get. Oh, make sure you join a Facebook group. There are a lot of Facebook groups for wig makers, um, starting a hair business, starting a wig business, Facebook groups. A lot of women will drop some really good gems for free to you okay they may not have a youtube but they'll they'll help you out there and answer a couple of your questions jump on lives on instagram wig makers be on live and they be curling hair doing hair look at them take them tips and kind of watch find maybe three or four of your top wig makers that you like that you're inspired by kind of look at how they do things and maybe you know kind of mimic not copy completely but kind of mimic what they do and it'll definitely help okay so uh, those are the three options that you have. If you wanted to start a wig business and you just really don't know how to make a wig, you can definitely run a good business if you have your marketing, if you customer service, and if you're knowledgeable about your product, you can make it work since it really can happen, okay? So I hope you found these tips very helpful. Um, and if you are not subscribed, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Also turn that notification bell on so that you are, uh, you know, you're updated on all my new videos. And thank you guys so much for my watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all.